everyone, my name is Giovanni Colonia and I am going to explain to you about my product catalog. It is all about men's slippers and sandals. So right now, I am going to navigate my catalog file in ZAM under um, HDDocs folder. The name of my file is slippers and sandals. So these are now my 4 PHP files for my catalog. The forms display secret info and slippers and sandal that PHP. Um, so, uh, this um, this file were already given by our instructors, and I I only I only edited or enhanced some part of it. So let's open it. The process begin in my landing page, and this is my source code. The head title is Slippers and Sandals. The link here serves as a reference to run my bootstrap design. As you can see, um, under the HTML tags is the PHP file. So it is located inside the HTML tag. Now, in code secret info.php, it is where the source code of my SQL connection is being stored. Upon running the website, the first thing that my catalog do is to read the secret info.php. So let's check. Wherein the host, user, password, and database name are being inserted here in secret info.php. So the name of the host is localhost, the user is root. The password is number 123, which is the required password, and then the database name is product. Now let's check my database located in, in localhost PHP my admin. Okay. The name of my database is product and the table is catalog. These are now the data in my database. It contains 55 products inserted or being added here. So there are 55. Um, inside the table, there are seven attributes. The catalog ID, catalog name, catalog category, catalog brand, size, price, and catalog cover, which is the sample photo of my products. As you can see, the dollar sign n per page here is equal to 2. It means that there are two products displayed in every table in my catalog. So, next is, as you've noticed, there is a condition here, um, the, the if and then the else. Okay, so if I set dollar sign post is equal to catalog, um, I don't really seem to understand that when I'm taking my time studying the codes, I think this this if condition here is only triggered when you click the um, let me open my catalog site first. Okay, it will be triggered by the select category button this one. So this condition will only be triggered if the user tries to choose a product and click the select category button. The source code in category button is located here in the forms. Okay. Um, here, since the name of this button is catalog, so the condition is being triggered here in this button. Okay, that's it. In that case, upon running the landing page, the else condition will be read first, this one. So it is being connected in host, username, password, and the database. And then fetching selected data from database by using query, select listing catalog brand, catalog category from catalog, order by catalog brand, catalog category. If the query is incorrect or undefined, the Word query diet category will be displayed. However, if the query is correct, so the catalog selection row will be called and viewed order by catalog category and then catalog brand. Okay. So okay. 
catalog category which is sandal and followed by the catalog brand same as the slipper category so to locate this code or i mean this code is being read in dforms.php so in dforms.php the catalog selection is being written here okay this side as you can see it is being inputted in the array so that the category and brand will display properly the dollar sign key here is a variable for the catalog category this one and then inside the array of the variable is not the array inside the array the variable key is another is another variable which is, which is type it is a variable for catalog brand the next is since they are located inside an array in order to view this file the array will look until catalog category and catalog brand will will be displayed here will be displayed so it will it will be displayed like this Um, after that, it will be followed by the submit button with the BTN success bootstrap design like this. The color is green. If you choose one of the brands and click this, the products under Alexander McQueen in, in sandals will be displayed. Um, okay, I am also going to flex, my, to flex my slideshow design which reviews some of the products. I think this design is suits the most when I was thinking while working on my design. It's kind of cute. And this is the source code of my slideshow design. So that's it. And also my CSS design for the deforms or for my landing page. Upon clicking the submit button, which has name as catalog, the product will be displayed. Okay, so and like uh, like this. When I choose like for instance the Alexander McQueen, so when I click the button, the product will be displayed in the table. Because of the name catalog, the data will be read and triggered display of the chosen brand under the category so that's the time that if condition and their slippers under the PHP will be read this is the the calculation for the previous this is for the next and this one is for the select another category button like this ne next previews and then um, so the category this query here is the query for display this one and the dollar post interest here is the value of the radio button in the brand selection so here um, okay here the radio button is the name interest um, and also this one the radio button for catalog brand once the user click the radio button, the data will be fetched and will be inserted in here. The word query died catalog here will be displayed if the query is incorrect or undefined. However, if the query is correct, so it will not display the following values or products in the table. Using some calculations and then call the display.php. This is the source code of display.php. It starts from the table heads. The, the, the catalog ID is equal to ID, which means that the catalog ID here is the name of the attributes, the table, in my database. And then the ID is the table head. So, this one, catalog ID, the name of the attributes, and then the ID is in the table head, this one, the ID. So, <clears throat> so 
legend attributes in the table of my database are being called here along with their equivalent table heads. This is the CSS design. And then now for each table heading, the table heads above above is being called here. Followed by the table data that is also being fetched from the database. Okay, by also calling its attributes, names from the database individually, same in line with the table heads. So this, this one, the data are being fetched and displayed by one by one. Let's see in ID7 if the data are the same. There's the ID7, the product name is Cross Traps. So, correct. Category is Sandal and brand is Alexander McQueen. The size is 32 and the price is 649. So, everything is correct as well as the color photo is also being displayed. Okay, next is. Now, the source code here below are the code for buttons below the table. Select another category, the next and the previous. There, there. So, so this uh, this is for the select another category, this is for the previous, and then this is for the next button. So the algorithm and the calculation of these buttons are being located here. Next one. The minus one is the previous button, the plus one is the next button, and then the equal to one is the select another category button. So the brand name here as well as the four products spawn is also located in my source code under display.php. So the brand name here is one. Okay, this one. So the brand name is equal to post and the rest. It is the equivalent value of the radio button in selecting the brand. Okay, here in the forms, this is the, uh, the radio button. They are being fetched and displayed in here. So, it is displayed Alexander McQueen since it is the brand that I choose. And then the four products found the number of products is also being counted um, here, this one, okay. It calculates how many products found under the query given here, the number of brands in the query. I think that's all for my source code, okay. So now let's try focusing in navigating my catalog website so let's try to select another category these are now my catalog category along with its catalog brand the brands are different in each category to avoid anomaly yes and also um, my slideshow this one that helps my design to look even more better and now let's select the brand in clicking the button, the data of the products in the table are being displayed by two. Next, so since there are only four products, the next button is ended here and we can only see the previous button. Here, previous, next. And go back again to select another category and brand. So that's all for my catalog design. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye!